everybody, welcome back to The Average. I'm Steph, I'm The Average Artist. In case you're new here, hello and welcome. Today I'm unboxing some posts that I received from Artex, an art company who are very kind to me and often give me, gift me stuff. Um, so I received this mystery parcel. I'm excited to see what's inside. Okay, that took about 5,000 years to open, but here we go. I'm very excited, because I caught a peek of some stuff inside. And first of all, oh my gosh, look at these Paul Rubin pastels. Look at that packaging. Artex are way too kind for, to me. Oh my God, I am super excited. Look at this, oil pastels, right. Well, I've never used oils and I don't really like oil pastels, but this is a good experiment, a good chance to experiment with them, right? Because I've never really used them properly. They sent me the banana sketching rubbing sponge, which is what I had my eye on, which I asked them for, because they look so adorable. Basically, they're like painting and sketching rubbing sponge, and, uh, for making a hazy and rendered effect on a picture when painting. And they look like bananas, so those are super cute and I can't wait to open them. And they sent me loads of masking tape, which I always need when painting. And this is super cute. It's just, they're, okay, they sent me way too much, honestly. This is so kind of them. I can't believe it. Again, they've been so nice to me. Um, but they sent me these masking tapes, Artex masking tapes. And uh, yeah, they look really pretty, and I can't wait to use them for painting. One last thing at the bottom of the box, which I did not know that they were sending me anything other than the sponges. So this is like a really nice surprise. I can't get to it. It's really in there, guys. Ugh. Here we go, here we go. What's it gonna be, what's it gonna be? Whoa, they sent me more oil pastels. These look beautiful. I love the packaging so much. It's like really high-end looking. And I've never really used oil pastels, like I was saying, so it'd be exciting to try them out, especially with the sponge, I guess? Is it a good combo? Let's try them. I think I'm gonna unbox this beautiful box first. <laughs> unbox this beautiful box. I'm like severely blown away whenever I get sent stuff. I just can't believe it. I have to kind of pinch myself. I don't understand why anybody would want to send me stuff, so <laughs> it's super nice of them. I can't get this off. Why can't I get this off? This looks like a luxurious box of chocolates or something, doesn't it? Wow! Oh my gosh, they're like metallic. Oh, and there's like a little pamphlet of how to use them, which I will definitely need because I don't use them. Oh my god, guys. Is this a, like the most luxurious art supply you've ever seen? Wow, so they're... They're like metallic oils, oil pastels. <gasps> Look at this one, it's beautiful. Look at that color. My God, my God, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try these. Um, I broke the box a little bit because I'm a complete klutz. This is embarrassing. Uh, I mean, we can see the washi tape but I will open one for you guys just to like check it out. Um, if it wasn't a complete idiot at opening things up, <laughs> we would be quicker. Oh my God, please. These new nails don't really help. So there we go, there's the masking tape. It's beautiful, it's gold, it's luxurious. It says Artex on it, which reminds me of my good friends Artex, who are now like my best friends because they always send me, what? Yeah, they send me the best. They sent me free stuff, which is like super nice. So yeah. Okay, that didn't peel off as slickly as I wanted it to. Okay, whatever. We can see the masking tape. Yep, run of the mill masking tape. Pretty luxurious, pretty cool. Very nice. And uh, let's open the oil pastels and then we'll get to sketching out stuff with our new oil pastels, I guess. Don't worry, the best will always inadvertently show up. May you have the courage to move forward and ease to step back. Pretty cool quote, actually, pretty cool quote. Mochi, can I help? Can I help you with something? Can I help you with something? Kitten attack. Ah, kitten attack. Is that a song? You're so cute. 
but you gotta go. You're so cute. I bet you think this song is about you. You're so cute. I bet you think you are a kid and mochi. You would think these nails would be really good at like, t like opening things, but apparently not. Okay, there we go. And let's open these up. Oh, it's, again, it's looking pretty. I really like the, the artwork that they have on these like flyers and stuff. And here we go. Here are just some normal colors, I guess. There are a couple of the metallics, but we've got a whole box of those and they have all these different colors. And people who like probably always use oil pastels are probably screaming of jealousy right now, but I'm pretty half excited, half intimidated, I guess apprehensive to try and use oil pastels. But you know what, you know me guys, I just want to jump right in, so let's get to testing these. But look, they're all like metallic. Are these soft pastels or soil? They're oil. Soil. Oil pastels. <laughs> soil. I didn't say soil. I said soil, I said soil. <laughs> metallic. I also want to open these banana things as well. <laughs> Which I've definitely used with these. What is that? There's a banana sketching sponge, and I think it's the cutest sponge that I've ever seen, and like... Oh, look how cute they are! Yeah, you can use water. <laughs> so cute! Okay guys, you know me, you know I'm not really one for swatches, but this is a material that I'm not comfortable with, or... I haven't used before really so I want to just do some swatches to sort of figure out the the landscape of what we're working with here so I'm just gonna do some tests and uh, see how it is okay so they're super like smooth pastels right and uh, yeah they're like waxy kind of feel in case you haven't used them before I guess most of you have or have some kind of inkling of how they work um, so I'm just going to do some random like swatches and tests and see how I feel. I think they can quite easily get murky, which is something to look out for. And I also want to use my little sponge and see how that works out. It's really kind of cool like textures I'm getting with this. So it can be fun to see how it goes. I have the, the feeling that it's going to be like, you know when you use watercolor and you can't take back the mistake. I feel like that's what this is gonna be. Uh, let's try this gold out because it, I am looking attracted to that. <laughs> that didn't make any sense, I'm so sorry. I will sell this piece for 500 pounds in the market because it's covered in gold. I'm so sorry. I, what, with any kind of medium that you use, right? Like any new medium, you always get a little bit apprehensive because you get that feeling of like, mm, whatever I'm gonna do is gonna not look good. So let's just see how we do. Oh my God, I really like the smudging technique with the banana. <laughs> I, uh, I really like this brush. Um, brush, sponge. I think it's really cute. And uh, yeah, let's let's dive into like trying to draw something, shall we? Draw, paint, pastel it, pastel it. That doesn't. Okay. Right. Let's begin our experiments. I think I'm noticing that a little goes a long way with this, but I'm still not totally sure. So I'm just gonna dive in and see how we do with this. I'm kind of gonna approach it like watercolor and try to be very careful with, well, this is me being careful by the way, guys, but very careful with what I lay down and uh, see how we do. Uh, I really like this smudging technique. I think this is the way to go for me. And um, I especially like it because it comes in the form of a little banana. 10 points if you can guess what I'm drawing. Not sure if I'm using it too um, like sharply, but yeah, I'm gonna try it out, gonna try it out. I'm just gonna keep layering up this and see how it does. So let's just get down to it and I will give you my thoughts as I go. But so far, so good, I think. Um, yeah, <laughs> I am enjoying them. Do 
use a paintbrush and water. So it's, it's really cool when you use water. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah it's water. I tried. Yeah, yeah. I tried water and it doesn't do anything. Cause it's... There's loads, look at that. Are you sure? I think this is really... That's pretty dirty brush. now. <laughs> that brush is mad dirty. I'm really enjoying just experimenting right now. Um, I understand that I'm probably not using these correctly, but it's just fun to like just go for it and see how stuff turns out. This is how it's looking so far. I'm not sure I totally enjoy using oil pastels, which is a super shame because look how amazing these are. I do like the quality of them, like the wispiness of it and like the dreaminess of it, but I think they're really difficult for me to use. So I'm just trying to get to grips with it a bit more. But for now, I think I'm gonna call this test done. I do like the way that it looks. It's kind of fun and it was fun to use and like, it was super tactile to like get in there with my hands and using the sponge and stuff. It was fun, so I'm definitely gonna use these again and uh, have fun with them. But yeah, I'm not sure I'm the best at using them, but I think there's some like really dreamy stuff happening within the textures in this that I could probably play with in the future with doing like landscapes and stuff. Maybe I tried to do a too, like too much detail in like, one, because if you can't tell what this is, I was trying to do like a bouquet of flowers and I think it's kind of difficult to do with your first try with oil pastels. So I think next time I'll just do something a little bit more, I don't know, dreamy. And I think you can get such a dreamy quality with these, which is really cool. So if you're like a fantasy artist, definitely, definitely check these out. So thanks again to Artex for sending me this stuff. It's really, really nice of them. I really appreciate it and uh, it's super kind and also I get to make a video on this stuff for you guys to like look at. I'll link these items down below uh, it will in case you're interested in uh, I don't know grabbing some if you like. So thanks again for watching and supporting guys. I would like to thank my patrons you guys are awesome and also if you guys want to grab a picker set and a the monthly print for this month's print reward on patreon then please check out the link down below i would super appreciate it and also my comics are up for sale on etsy still so thanks a lot bye bye <laughs> see you next time bye meanwhile chris has taken a bit of a liking to them what do you think chris uh yeah i think it's cool so is mochi <laughs> gg calm down i think they're cool i don't know really I have to get used to them again i guess mm. But I was saying like when I did the, that it was hard to like, I picked kind of a detailed thing to do. Would you say it's difficult to do like a detailed thing with it? Um, I think it's quite a messy medium at first. Maybe with a bit of practice you could do more detailed stuff. I'm not really sure. It's been a long time since I've used them. Mm. But yeah, it's cool. quite, they're quite fun. You can smudge them. All right, that's enough now. No one asks for your whole encyclopedia. Anyway, follow me at Chris 500. <laughs> Chris Summit 500. It doesn't exist.